We're okay? Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I'm Ian Stewart. I'm the Acting Commissioner of Police, and this is Stephen Golcheski, the Assistant Commissioner for Southern Region. Um, earlier today, we became aware of a claim by Mr Danny Maguire, who tragically lost his wife and children uh, in the events in the Lockyer Valley earlier this year, that he believed that he was about to be charged by police in relation to the deaths of his wife and children. Uh, this has been uh, obviously uh, sig a significant statement by him, uh, but we are at a loss to understand uh, why he has made this statement. I have earlier today told the media uh, and, uh, as reported on radio, that the Queensland Police Service has not had and does not have any information which would cause us to take action against Mr Maguire in relation to those deaths, and I say that categorically. Uh, as I said, uh, the claims by Mr Maguire that he has been contacted by uh, senior police officers uh, are also confusing for us, and I have taken the extraordinary action of asking Mr Golcheski to be here today to also uh, back up our story that uh, no contact has been made with Mr Maguire uh, in relation to this or any other matter that we're aware of uh, in recent times. Um, we're happy to answer questions about this matter, but I can only repeat uh, my earlier request. I would be grateful if Mr Maguire is concerned about this matter, that he can contact my office, in other words, the Commissioner of Police's office, and provide information which will um, back up and validate his claim, um, or if he if he feels so inclined uh, and he is concerned about uh, any actions by any police officer in Queensland, that I encourage him to go to the CMC uh, and to provide that same information. Uh, we're happy to answer any questions that you may have. Is there um, any potential for him to be charged with the charge of the unlicensed driving, or are you ruling out charges um, I am not aware of all of the facts. I have never been briefed on all of the facts in relation to uh, the passing uh, of Mrs Maguire and um, the children. Um, I don't know, I don't know whether he was even driving the vehicle at the time. So you, you, can't, you can't rule out in the future some sort of charge? What I'm saying to you is that there is no evidence uh, that would make Mr Maguire complicit in those deaths. That is the best of my knowledge. Now, as you are well aware, uh, Operation Galaxy has been operating with Queensland Police Services on behalf of the coroner, and they have been investigating all deaths in the Lockyer Valley and in Toowoomba um, as a result of the flooding events uh, earlier this year. Um, I have taken the extraordinary event of uh, speaking to the coroner and also, or contacting the coroner this morning, um, but also speaking to the head of that task force to ensure that they haven't um, had any other information that would change my view. And they have categorically told me that at this stage we do not have any information which would make uh, Mr Maguire um, a person of interest even um, in the investigation of those deaths. Well, that depends if he was driving. So we don't know if he was driving? I don't know that. If he was? Um, look... It'd be, tough, it'd be tough for the police to come out and say, well, we're charging Mr Maguire with unlicensed driving. Would that be a case that... Uh, well, that OK. You're going down hypotheticals now. What I'm saying to you very, very clearly is that uh, we are not aware of any police officer even contacting Mr Maguire about this or any other issue um, of recent times. And we do not know where this information has come from. I can categorically tell you as well that my senior officers have not spoken to Mr Maguire. What about the liaison officers in Grantham? Could they be investigating him? Uh, no, there are two police officers who are working in concert with the community and the local council down there. They are not undertaking any police investigations at all. Could be the subject of any investigations at all? Um, that's uh, a matter that uh, perhaps is best left to uh, conversations with Mr Maguire. Have you um, tried to contact him today to see 
Um, I personally have not tried to contact him, but I understand that um, reporters have tried to contact him today and it appears that he's uncontactable, and that's why I'm appealing through the media for him to come forward and clear this matter up. He's the one who's made this claim, allegedly, uh, to media either last night or this morning. Um, it is confusing, to say the least. Is he or has he been investigated under anything, uh, any sort of incidents prior to I think that's a matter that is best taken up with Mr McGuire. Would his allegations relate to possible charges from something that he's been investigated for prior to the flight? Again, that's a, bit, a matter that I think that you should quite properly put to him. What do you think he's done? Well, um, I mean, I wasn't there. I don't know what he has said. I don't know whether he is confused... Um, uh, some comment from someone else um, or whether there has been confusion about the words that he has said. But I can categorically tell you that no senior police have spoken to him of recent times that we are aware of, that there is no evidence that would make him complicit or even cause us to even consider any action in relation to the death of his wife and children. So we are as confused as you are uh, in that regard. And, it, and I would be very grateful, as I said, to Mr Maguire to come forward and explain what he is talking about. Are you concerned for his welfare that he's not responding to any calls? Look, I, we have great sympathy for Mr Maguire and the others, other victims of the flood events down there. I mean, um, who knows what's working on his mind? And that, that's the sad part about this. Um, it is unfortunate that his claims, though, have been raised to this level and, of course, such angst even within our, our own agency. Surprised by the media traction of this story? Um, I have made very clear statements about this today uh, on behalf of our service. Um, I am surprised that um, even with one uh, media outlet saying that we have now decided we're not going to charge him, I'm making it very clear to you that is not the case. We, <laughs> there is no evidence that we have that would even cause us to think that way. And that's why the, the nub of this is for someone to speak to Mr Maguire and, and find out his reasons for making this claim. And it might be just that he is confused. Have you been asked to meet with police this week? Not to my knowledge, no. Going back to the unlicensed thing, if he admits he didn't have a licence and he was driving the truck, he would then he could then be charged with that. Um, our test for any prosecution is one of sufficiency of evidence and then there is a public int an overriding public interest test. If we were looking at any matters like that, um, obviously both arms of that would come into play, whether there was the evidence for the first thing and secondly, whether there's a public interest. And I think that under all of these tragic circumstances, the public interest, um, whilst again this is hypothetical, um, I couldn't see how the public interest would be served. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, everyone, for coming.